So let's talk about scale and scale factor and scale drawings. So let's start with this example here, uh, finding dimensions. And um, it says uh, scale drawings and scale models are used in map making, construction, and other trades. So um, it says a blueprint is a technical drawing that usually displays architectural plans. Pete's blueprint shows a layout of a house. Every four inches in the blueprint represents three feet of the actual house. One of the walls in the blueprint is 24 inches long. What is the actual length of the wall? We had some important information. We got a scale here. Um, our scale is that three, every four inches, I'll underline right here, every four inches in the blueprint represents three feet of an actual house. So a blueprint is like a plan um, or a layout, something that you draw on a piece of paper for um, a building or something you're going to construct that's going to be obviously a lot larger. So um, every four inches in the blueprint, in this thing here, any, any four inches that we have anywhere along this actually represents three feet in the actual house. So we actually got a um, almost like a proportion there. Every four inches represents three feet in the house. So they want to know um, if one of the walls is 24 inches long, what's the actual length? So um, four inches is three feet, so you can kind of follow the pattern here. Um, but if we had to fill out this table, four inches would be three feet. Um, if we doubled that, eight inches would be six feet. Um, if we kept going, we should get um, 12 inches would be nine feet. Um, 16 inches give us 12 feet. And then 20 inches would get us 15 feet. And 24 could get us the 20 feet. So we kind of get a pattern in the table. But the important thing here is that we get the scale factor. We get that 4 inches is 3 feet in this. And we could use this to solve for the area, which you'll often have to do. Or the perimeter, or just one side. So when a scale is a ratio between two sets of measurements. It shows how a dimension in a scale drawing is related to actual objects. Um, and I've got a longer definition here, but the real important part is kind of those first two sentences. That might be the stuff that you get down right here. Um, the scale is um, a ratio between two sets of measurements. It shows how a dimension in a scale drawing is related to the actual object. Um, also, a scale drawing is a proportional two-dimensional drawing of an object. Scale drawings can represent objects that are smaller or larger than actual objects. So if I were to back up, um, you can kind of have this whole definition is a good thing for a scale drawing. That could have been like that blueprint. Um, but the scale, when it was four inches, represented the three feet. That kind of gave us the scale of what we had in that blueprint or that drawing. Um, so that's scale and scale drawing and um, often like if this was like the White House and it was constructed um, just as an example of course it had a blueprint too and you drew that out real small um, and then uh, constructed it to its actual size but it had to have a plan and they had to have the dimensions shown and um, you can even build small scale models of uh, famous buildings here's one of the White House but um, I've seen them of of several, you've probably seen them, of, of many things, models, even model cars. Um, and if it's drawn to scale, that means it's drawn to proportion to what the actual size would be. So let's talk about solving for scale. Um, this word problem says the art class is planning to paint a mural on an outside wall. So they're going to paint this full picture right here on a wall. And they're just going to give us a small version, but they're going to paint that full thing on a wall. This figure is a scale drawing of the wall. What is the area of the actual wall? All right. Well, we know that it looks like the, the length is 28 inches and the width is 11 inches. Now, we have some important information right here. I'm going to circle it. That is our scale. Um, they show it as a ratio. It says 2 inches represents 3 feet in this drawing. Remember, they're going to draw this on the side of the wall. Okay, cool. So we can solve for the area of this. So... First, we want to go ahead and we want to convert these two. We want to convert these measurements. 28 inches in the length. Well, every 2 inches is 3 feet. What if we have 28 inches? 
right here, and I'll take away that equals. But if I create a similar um, kind of a ratio and proportion here, um, let's see if we can find a relationship. How many times does 2 go into 28? A lot of y'all might know 2 times 14 is 28. So whatever I do to the top, I can do to the bottom. I can multiply by 14. And so I should get 14 times 3 on the bottom, and that should give me 42 if I do it accurately. So 28 inches is actually equivalent to 42 feet if we follow this scale. And then now we can convert the width, which is 11 inches, and then we can find the area. We're going to do it the exact same way. Again, 2 inches. This is our like our, our ratio. This is our rule we're going to go by. 2 inches is 3 feet. Uh, represents 3 feet. So if I have 11 inches right here, so I should have probably put that there. How many feet would I have? Okay, so 2, now I'm looking for 2 into 11. Hmm, well, 11 odd. It doesn't go in evenly. But if you divided 11 by 2, you'd get 5.5. .5. So times 5.5 .5 or 5.5. Do the same thing at the bottom. 3 times 5.5. .5. And 3 times 5.5. .5. You do all the math out. I believe gets you 16.5. And so this represents the width, which is 16.5. And this will be the actual width when these students draw this on the wall. So area. Well, the area, we saw for area, area equals either length times width, or um, you can do base times height if you want. But in this one, it's length, time, length times width. So it would be 42 times 16.5. So I could have 16.5 times my 42. Multiply this out. Um, I know if you multiply this all the way out, you get 693 if you move the decimal correctly. And so the area should be 693, and they want it in feet, and area is squared. So all I had to do is kind of convert it, use that scale factor, and then solve for the area here to figure out the actual mural size. Try another one. Find the length and width of the actual room shown in the scale drawing. Then find the area of the actual room, round your answer to the nearest tenth. I wanted to show this example because sometimes the numbers don't work out um, evenly or into whole numbers, I, I should say. So um, the scale size here is that they have, um, they show this in inches. Um, our scale factor, basically, is that three inches represent eight feet. So I've got 6.5 inches along here, and I've got five inches along here. Okay, and they want the area. So if I write this down, 3 inches represents 8 feet right there. Um, let's try this one that's 6.5. So if I have 6.5 inches, how many feet would that be? So I basically need to figure out what's the relationship between 3 and 6.5. So um, I don't know it off the top of my head. I have to divide 6.5 by 3. If you do all the math, it's kind of long, but I've done it here uh, prior to the video. When you do it all, you're going to get, it's actually multiplied by 2.16 about. So 2.16 and um, they say round it to the nearest tenth. We'll do that kind of at the end, but if we um, follow the same rule, we can multiply by 2.16 here and 8 times 2.16 should get you 17.28. And if this is where we round to the nearest tenth, this 2.8 here can round to just 0.3 or 0.30. So this is 17.3. Now we can do the width real quick. We do the same rule. 3 inches is supposed to represent 8 feet for this wall. So if I have now 5 inches, how many, and I keep putting that equal sign, I don't want to, how many feet will I have? So I need to see how many times does 3 go into 5. 5 divided by 3 is another long decimal, 1.66. So I'm going to do 8 times 1.66, and if I do that, To get 
0.28 and again we can round to the nearest tenth so that 0.28 right there can actually round up to 30 so 13.30 so if we want to find the area of the actual room round your answer to the nearest tenth all I need to do is say okay so this is now 13 scratch that out scratch that out this is 13.3 so I have 17.3 at the top times 13.3 at the bottom. And if I multiply this out, do all this math and multiply it all the way out, you should get um, basically 230 um, feet. And you get in basically 9 tenths feet. So just over about 230 feet if we go ahead and we multiply this just the right way. So just, just barely over, you could round this right over here to the 0.10 or 0.1. Either way, I would even say 230 feet, but that's about what the area is. Um, one last example here, just so you can get this down. The scale drawing is 2 inches equals 4 feet. So remember, again, I just want to show you re repeatedly that we follow this rule. 2 inches is 4 feet. This tells us what the scale is. So then I look at my shape, I look at my rectangle here. I got 14 inch length, 7 inch width over here. So what is the length and width of the actual room find the area? Well, I'll just solve for the length and the width and you can go ahead and do the area. You can even pause it and move ahead if you wanted to. But if I did the width real quick, I could get 14 inches. So what's the relationship? I'm looking at this one. What's the relationship between 2 and 14? Well, 2 times 7 is 14, so I'll do the same thing here, times 7, and uh, 4 times, clean that up, 4 times 7 is 28 feet, so we know that this is going to be equal to 28 feet width, maybe I can clean up that 8 there, there we go, and then um, how about the width, well, same rule, 2 inches, four feet and uh, I have seven inches here so how many feet would I have well two goes into seven if we do this right seven divided by two I believe is 3.5 so times 3.5 so times 3.5 here and then four times 3.5 is 14 feet so here we would get 14 feet and we could have just doubled it as you see here um, but I wanted to show that proportion so you just double it 2 times 7 be 14 and to find the area it would just be 28 times the 14 to get this just right and I believe if you do all your math accurately it should be 392 feet squared so this is scale and scale factor just remember to find that actual scale factor in this case it was 2 inches or 4 feet Continue to follow the rule and then um, find the, the, the rule, the relationship between the top and apply it to the bottom and then you can solve for scale, scale factor and create scale drawings.